Hi guys, welcome to this video uh, concerning the new registration and new test that all non-commercial drone pilots need to do in the UK. Also going to touch on the drone code. So if we go to dronesafe.uk, um, top of the bar, click on the drone code, that'll open a page and there's a button on there to download a PDF version of it. Um, so you press that and it'll come up and on two pages, page one in the big splash page at the moment is that you must pass your drone test and register and then we've just got general rules underneath. Now these rules apply to all drone operators which are non-commercial. Um, definitely worth having a look through it and remembering the um, rules which we all should be flying by. As you can see, some of them are always keep your drone line in sight, never fly more than 120 metres above the ground, never fly 50 metres from anybody or any buildings. Then we can go down to page two. Page two, is a, it says 150 metres from a crowd and 150 metres from built up areas and don't overfly either of them. And of course, then it touches on the uh, airfield rules and also the new rules for registering and doing the online test. Um, worth remembering because the some of the answers to the tests are actually in the code. If you want to know more about the airfield restrictions, you can go on to the airfield restrictions at the top of the page and that will give you a lot more detail than what the bullet point on the drone code says. Also on the home page, it will give you the safety app. Um, the one they recommend is the Drone Assist, which is a very good app, which is one I use. Um, then if we go back to the uh, drone code on page one, you'll see that there is uh, a website, register-drones.caa.co.uk. So if we go into that, um, then that opens up the new registration and test pages definitely worth having a look through it there's a few pages and a bit more information a bit more detail on certain things if you want to register or want to read through it um, there are a difference between fl flyer id and um, operator id if you own the drone and fly it yourself you have to do both um, but there are instances where you could just be one or the other by um, a parent being the uh, one and the child being the, the, the other. So we keep going through the thing and it says um, preparing for the theory test as you can see. And then it gives you a button to start the test and also how much the price is, how much it's going to be. Um, so let's start the test. So I've pressed. So you have to give them your email address and they'll email you a code just to make sure uh, the email is good. And then you have to decide who's going to be responsible. Is it going to be you or is it going to be, um, or do you only need to have the flyer ID? Uh, so once you decide that, continue and the test starts. Now it's 20 questions, pass marker 16 as it says. Um, these, these are the questions that I've taken. Um, I have deliberately cut out my answers because I think it's important for you guys to answer the questions yourself and know the answers. Now I've deliberately got two, two questions wrong question 10 and question 18, just to show you what the screen says at the end of the test and how easy it is going to be to pass this online test. So no need to lose any sleep over it. So at the end of the test, uh, we'll have a look at that. And what I'll do now is just let it run and pick it up again after page or after question 20.
So as you can see, it's telling me I've passed the test and I've scored 18 out of 20, reviewing wrong answers. So as I said, it was question 10 and I also got question 18 wrong. Um, so it tells you what I answered and in fact what the correct answer is. Personally, I think question 18 is a little bit ambiguous, but they are what they are. So um, you just have to live with it. So now we're happy. Um, we press continue. We fill in our name, family name, um, date of birth, your address. Confirm that you understand your responsibilities as a drone pilot or a drone operator. And all six buttons have to be checked before you continue. And once you check them all and press continue, then we need to tick the consent box and then the continue to pay. And that brings up normal payment screen where you enter your card number, expiry date, your name of the card, security code, etc. as normal. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and happy flying. Cheers.